because we we don't define a disorder unless there's social or occupational dysfunction. It doesn't matter what the symptoms are. I've had patients who are pleasantly hallucinating, so frankly psychotic, but doesn't affect their lives. So I don't give that person as diagnosis because there's not social or occupational dysfunction. Same with any anything on this, you know, any of the diverse symptoms of, of, of autism spectrum disorder. If someone has them, but they're successful socially and occupationally, we don't say that there's a disorder. But then you're right, the, the concept of the spectrum does become a, a useful, uh, you know, pigeonholing um, device, which is maybe not, not the best thing. 